everyone, very attention, and uh, yes, and uh, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and my pleasure to introduce today's speaker. Today's speaker, Eric Zhang. His Mandarin name is Zhang Hao Min, Sandian Shui Hao. Uh, he is currently working on a PhD at National Chen Gong University in political economy, as well as teaching part-time at a Kram school at the Kunshan University in Taiwan. Uh, he is living in Taiwan for near nine years, the whole time teaching and for the past four years as a student in Taiwan. He uh, would like to share where everyone his observation from both sides of the spectrum. He has many problems with Taiwan's education system and uh, he hopes to use the time to share with you all his experience in the ideas and uh, what the future of Taiwan's education could look like. Education has been used as a tool for indoctrination, co-occupation, and uh, brainwashing in Taiwan for the past century at least. Education needs a serious overhaul in Taiwan and uh, this is what he hopes to talk about. And uh, you may watch his TV program and the PATH TV program in uh, www.taiwanecs.ning.com Also www.youtube.com You may watch both of, we, uh, both of us have a special Taiwan Health, Healthy Taiwan's program. And uh, would you please big hand welcome Eric Chang. All right, uh, hi everybody. Uh, sorry, I'm a little underdressed. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't like to wear ties or anything. Um, I'll try to speak a little slower. Uh, I tend to speak a little fast sometimes when I speak English. So. Uh, if you don't understand anything, uh, just please tell me, uh, and I'll repeat it, and I'll say it a little slower, okay? Um, the title of my uh, presentation today, okay, uh, I called it an ABT's perspective on Taiwan's education. Uh, and the reason I say ABT, okay, because uh, in Taiwan, uh, anyone that's born in America, right, uh, if you're Taiwanese, you're born in America, uh, people in Taiwan, we just say here's ABC, right? ABC means uh, American-born Chinese. Okay. Uh, American-born Chinese, American-born Taiwanese, two completely different things because they're two different countries, obviously. Um, so in Taiwan, we actually need to uh, change the way people you know, talk about people born in America. First of all, we need to call them ABT because technically that's the right name. ABCs, you know, uh, a big difference, okay, so let me think it's <laughs> So uh, that's why this that's is right. Let me continue. Okay. So the way I'm going to, uh, my speech today, we're going to be broken up into basically five parts. Okay. Uh, the first part, I'm just going to give a little introduction. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to talk about um, my take on being a student in Taiwan. Okay. I've been able to study. Uh, I did my master's here in Taiwan, and I'm currently working on my PhD. Um, but at the same time, my experience here is uh, rather unique. Okay. Because when we uh, in class we use English. Okay. So probably you know 95 percent of the students in Taiwan. Uh, use Chinese, so you know my learning experience is definitely unique and maybe not very explanatory of the whole uh, education system as a whole. You know, but these are some observations that I've come to uh, notice while I'm here. Um, next, I want to talk about teaching in Taiwan. Okay, uh, I've had some teaching. I've had experience teaching at cram schools and at Kunsan. Uh, I've been teaching there for the past two years now. Uh, this will be going my third. Okay, so I've actually had some uh, chance to meet, uh, interact with uh, Taiwanese. Uh, college students. Okay, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, then I'm going to talk about uh, challenges uh, that Taiwan has in the educational system. Okay, uh, normally I would call it problems. Okay, problems with Taiwan's educational system. But I guess living in Taiwan, I've learned to like use, you know, uh, language that's a little bit, you know, not as uh, in your face, I guess. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about possible alternatives to uh, our current system. Okay, so a little background about myself. Okay, uh, I was born in Ohio. Okay, I was born in Ohio. Uh, I went to, I did my undergrad at University of Michigan. Okay, and during that time, I did uh, biology and Asian studies. Okay, um, so that's very far from where I am now. Okay, uh, I came back to Taiwan. Uh, then when I came back to Taiwan, uh, I did an MBA. 
Okay, and now after the MBA, I'm jumping back, to, uh, jumping over to politics. Okay, um, so I think finally I found a home now. Uh, you know, in this uh, political economy department. So right now, yes, I'm doing. Um, I'm working on my PhD at uh, NCKU. Um, in terms of employment, uh, like Pat already said, uh, I'm working at uh, Wuxifan. I've been working there. I'm also uh, working at uh, Hunsan. And now, lately, over the past year, actually, about the past 10 months, I've actually been doing a web show on the internet with my friends and I, where we talk about politics, news, and current events that are going on in Taiwan. Um, I came back in 2001, so I've been home for, I've been back in Taiwan now for nine years. Okay? And the main reason that I wanted to come back to Taiwan uh, was that growing up in America, uh, I pretty much considered myself American, and I wasn't really questioned as to, you know, are you Asian, are you Asian American, are you, you know, this type of thing. It wasn't really something that I uh, struggled with uh, until I went to college. Okay? By the time I got to college, this is where I started to see other uh, Asian Americans, right, uh, Filipinos, Koreans. Uh, even Chinese Americans. And seeing these other groups of Asian Americans have such pride in their culture. Uh, I don't know if you guys have met Korean Americans, or just Koreans. Koreans love being Korean. Japanese love being Japanese. Okay? And it was always funny for me, uh, once we started talking about Taiwanese students, why wasn't it that Taiwanese students didn't love being Taiwanese? You know, for Taiwanese people, it was always, ah, you know, I'm Taiwanese, but you know, I guess you could say I'm Chinese. Or, you know, there was a lot of this uncertainty. And for me, I definitely, um, I didn't know very much, right? I thought I knew some, you know, I had read some books, I had read about Tutu, I had read about certain things, but I never lived in Taiwan for an extended period of time, okay? So in college, I, I started meeting all these people, a lot of Chinese Americans that would actually, you know, we'd start debating, okay? And I guess we could say we wouldn't start arguing. Um, even some good friends, you know, we would get to the point where we wouldn't talk anymore. And for, for me, that's what really made me want to come back to Taiwan, actually live in Taiwan, actually see what the difference was, see, you know, what, uh, what my, you see the country that my parents grew up in, basically. Okay, okay so now I'm going to talk about uh, my studying here in Taiwan, okay, uh, my experience as a student in Taiwan. Okay, due to my language abilities, or I should say lack of, you know, I can't speak Chinese at all hardly, okay, because of this, um, I would say I've been given opportunities that other Taiwanese students are not given, okay. Um, in parentheses, I have unfair, okay. Unfair in the, in the, in the sense that um, for me to study at Chen Da, Chen Da is one of the top schools in Taiwan. Uh, I didn't have to test, and I don't have to pay. Okay, and why not? Because I'm a foreigner. Okay, and a lot of Ta uh, in Taiwan now they have a lot of programs where uh, they're giving masters up in English. Okay, um, the programs are in English, and the only qualification is that you have to be a foreigner to get in. Okay, so compared to a lot of my uh, other classmates, my Taiwanese classmates, you know, they have to test to get in. You know, they have to pay. They have to, you know, study a lot just to get into, uh, just to get, be given the opportunity that I was given. Okay, uh, so like I said, I didn't have to pay, uh, I didn't have to test, and I put Mind Joe in parentheses because Mind Joe, when he came, he didn't test to get into high school, didn't test to get into college. Uh, you know, we, he went to Harvard, but he was a transfer student. Okay, and you know, this is what I just want to do. Uh, I try to use comedy a little bit more. You know, some of you guys probably might not think it's funny if you really like Mind Joe, but okay. Um, so like I said, because I was able to get in without studying, without testing, okay, the type of, the education that I have had has come with mixed blessings, okay? Um, on one hand, it's free, okay, because it's free, I don't have to pay, I don't have to test, it's a good thing. On the other hand, okay, the quality of education, okay, the quality of the education, when I mean quality, I mean that in Taiwan, Every professor um, can read English textbooks, right? I'm sure all of you can read, you know, the thousand-page textbook English. You can read it, no problem. Okay, being able to understand English and being able to communicate in English are two totally different things. Okay, and what I realized is, you know, when I first got into the program, I was excited because, you know, it gave me an ability, it gave me an opportunity to study in Taiwan, you know, using English. Right, I didn't have to uh, learn Chinese, so I was able to study. But the problem was. After I got in the program, I realized that you know a lot of my professors, really, really intelligent people, great at Chinese, great at Taiwanese, English lecturing, not very good. Okay, and because of that, you know, you, you get problems. Okay, also with a lot of my students, right, the same thing, right? They can read in English, but when it comes to actually communicating, it's really difficult. Okay, so some of the problem is the government, you know, a lot of the Taiwanese school system, they wanted to too quickly let foreigners into the system, let uh, foreigners to study in the in the, in the college. 
but they didn't have a really good program in place, right? They didn't have uh, enough uh, professors in place, okay? Um, 